We begin tonight with a seemingly remorseful Bailey Hobson apologizing to the family of Charlotte Skoda as he was being taken to Metro Jail this afternoon. Hobson is the man accused of driving recklessly and slamming his car head on into Skoda's car earlier this week. Skoda, a beloved Faith Academy educator, died. Our Tyler Finger was there when Hobson was taken to Metro and Tyler, you had a lot of questions for him and he had some answers. Yeah, he did Byron. He was kind of soft spoken, but did say he's sorry to Charlotte Skoda's family. We just got our hands on this new mugshot as he checked in for a stay at Metro Jail. She is remembered for her profound impact on the lives of countless individuals. Nearly 24 hours after Faith Academy honored Charlotte Skoda and her impact at the school, the man who police say cut her life short was rolled out of Metro Police Headquarters this afternoon on his way to jail. Anything you want to say to the Skoda family? I'm sorry. Bailey Hobson, who spent the last few days in the hospital, speaking directly to the family and the Faith Academy community. I'm terribly sorry for taking somebody that they loved away, and I'm something I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life, and I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Police say Hobson was driving recklessly early Tuesday morning when he hit Skoda's car head on. Yesterday, during the school's football game, Skoda was remembered. Her family is heartbroken. We were all blindsided by this Tuesday morning, so to see, you know, immediately as it was posted on Facebook, probably within an hour, there were over 600 comments of testimonies from Aunt Charlotte's faithfulness and, and how she prayed for others. And but tonight, while the family prepares to say their goodbyes, Hobson appears to realize what he's done. I'm terribly sorry, and I, I'm the one that deserved to pass in that incident, not me, or not her. Hobson is facing multiple charges, including DUI manslaughter, but he says he had nothing in his system. At this point, little solace for the family and the community getting ready to say their final goodbyes. Live in the studio tonight, Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.